YouTube another video. This time I'm going to show you how to work with shift registers, 8-bit shift registers for that matter. Before I start explaining what goes on here in the circuit, let's see what we have in the circuit itself. Here we have a triple five timer which provides a clock for the rest of the elements. Two 8-bit shift registers uh, HC595 uh, they are latched so this shift register here receives data and then passes it on to this shift register and this in turn can pass it on forward if we had more uh, connected together. Here we have a binary counter and you can see that it's counting I'm gonna explain about this circuit a bit later. A button which helps me feed ones into the shift register. Currently, by default, we are feeding only zeros, so you don't see anything come out on the outputs here. But once I press this button, I'm going to be feeding a one, and then you will see how it goes through the shift register. Before that, here we have uh, two transistors. I'm just using them as signal amplifiers one for the clock and one for the output that comes from the binary counter and we're going to see that uh, shortly. So first of all, let's see what the shift register does. Right now we are feeding serial data into the shift register, again into this one and this one passes it on to this one. We are doing it at about rate of about one bit um, per second. And if you compare that to serial communication that you've done previously on your computer, then you understand how slow we are going here in this example. But um, to move on, let's see what, um, what happens when I feed a single one. So I'm going to feed it. Here is our one. And you can see that on every clock cycle, our one goes from one bit to the other. And once it reaches uh, bit number 8 on this shift register, it goes to this shift register, and then it passes on. So every one that we are putting in, a 0, and a 0, and again a 1. So here we have the value 9 going through our shift register, and you get how it works. Now, what you see here, this is not really the way that you work with shift registers. The way that you work with them is that you upload serial data that is segmented so that means that you or whoever defines this circuit the way it should work um, says that um, we are feeding segments of let's say 4 bits or 8 bits or 16 bits and we are processing them every time we are uploading them uh, into the parallel output now to understand everything that I'm, I just said um, I'm going to lower the outputs for the parallel pins and now you will see our counter go into action. So right now I'm pressing the one feed button and nothing comes up here. So again I'm going to press it and nothing comes up. Once our counter reaches 16 it will lower the output pin and here is our data. And then it rises it again so the data goes lost. So what happens is that we are feeding 16 bits every time we are feeding 16 bits into these two registers and our counter counts up to 16 from 0 to 15 and on the 16th count it will, um, uh, re it will provide a low to the output pins of the shift register and you will see the data coming out here. And from here, the data will go to either a data bus, in this example, or uh, some other circuit that you define it. <coughs> Sorry for that. But um, this is how you work with shift registers. So again, you want to um, provide serial input in segmented ways. So 16 or 8 or 32 or how many uh, you define the circuit to work. Now, what you do with this data, once you've put it in and once you've loaded it here, is to explain this, I've made a little drawing. And um, I hope it will be clear once I explain it. But as you can see, we have serial input 
coming into our shift registers and in this case you saw that I have register A and register B. These are just um, names that I've given it. We can also define these two registers as being one. We can define them as being four different registers, each of four bit length. But um, just to, to, to give the explanation here, so we have serial input and we have data that comes into the shift register every time a segment of 16 bits. So here are our 16 bits. The moment that our counter has uh, loaded them into the parallel output and from here on, on that very same clock cycle, for example's sake, we are processing the data. So we can define that, for example, the data that sits in register A, which we will divide into two, so we have two four-bit registers that make up A, and we can call them A high for the high four bits that sit in the A register and A low for the four low bits that sit in the A register and whatever comes into the A register will always be two values value 1 and value 2 what we want to do with these values maybe add them, maybe subtract them maybe uh, multiply or divide doesn't matter this is how we define uh, what comes into the A register what comes into the B register, once we load the data, is the high bits, the four high bits, B high, will be a command for our ALU, arithmetic logic unit. You can also think of this, for example, as a full adder that I showed in a previous video. So it will give a command to the ALU telling it do we want to add, do we want to subtract, and so on. The low bits that come into the B register, the four low bits or B low, will be a memory address. And it will always point to a memory address. This is how we design the circuit. You don't really have to use a data bus in this simplistic design, but just for example sake. And once uh, our binary counter reaches 16 and all these 16 bits are outputted in parallel simultaneously, a calculation will be made where the result will be stored in a memory. Uh, this is an example and I hope that I made it clear enough, but this is how you process the serial data. So 16 bits come in, the clock, uh, uh, the counter raises it once, we are processing them all in parallel and they move out and 16 more bits come in, process them, then they move out, 16 more and so on. And every bit comes in on each clock cycle. Each clock cycle tells our counter, uh, our binary counter here to count another step. Once it reaches 16 clock cycles, then uh, again it will um, lower the, <coughs> the output pins for the parallel. <coughs> <coughs> I apologize for this. But again it will um, uh, lo give low to the output pins of the shift registers and um, that in turn will see everything uh, that I just uh, that I just explained. That's it. I hope you like this video. If you have any specific questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section, and I will do my best to give you an answer. And uh, if you like my videos, consider subscribing to the channel. That always makes me happy. Encourages me to make more videos. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.